Hey everyone, so here's a question and this question is asked by Rekha. So the question here is find, so we have to find the answer for this question. Minus 14 by 9 multiplied by 3 by 5 multiplied by minus 4 by 7 multiplied by 15 by 16. So let's write the question once again. So here is a solution. So first number we have is minus 14 by 9 multiplied by 3 by 5 multiplied by minus 4 by 7 multiplied by 15 by 16. Now there are many ways to solve this. What you can do is you can multiply the numerators. You can multiply all the numerators and you will get one numerator here and then you multiply the denominators. You can write down the answer here and the after that you have to cancel the numbers bring you to the reduced form this is one way of solving it the problem here is the numbers when you multiply them the answer will be like the number what you get will be a greater number and you're going to take a lot of time to multiply so instead of that what we're going to do here is we're going to use a cancellation method we're going to cancel the numbers now when you're cancelling the numbers, you have to cancel a number in the numerator and denominator. It's okay, like you can cancel a number 3, you can cancel a number 9. It's not necessary that you have to cancel 3 with 5 only. No. Any numerator, you can cancel with any denominator. You cannot cancel numerator and numerator. For example, I cannot cancel 3 and 15. They both are in numerator. It's not possible. You cannot divide the numbers in the numerator. You have to divide the numbers in the numerator and in the denominator. Divide means the cancellation. So I'm going to cancel the numbers. I'm going to bring it to the reduced form and then later I'm going to multiply. So what numbers we can cancel here? Let us look for minus 14 or just look for the 14. 14 and 7 we can cancel. Yes. So I'm going to cancel this in 7 table directly. So this is 7 ones are and then 7 2 is a 14 so I have minus 2 here or you can just write on minus 2 yeah or you can leave the negative sign there then we have 9 we can cancel 9 and 3 this is 3 1 is a and 3 3 is a 9 okay now further what we can cancel we can cancel 5 and 15 right this is 5 1 is a and then 5 3 is a 15 then what else we can cancel 4 and 16 yes this is minus 1 that is 4 1s are 4 but ne negative sign will be there and then 4 4s are 16 and we can cancel this 3 in the numerator and this 3 in the denominator this is 3 1s are and again 3 1s are now what we have left we have left with minus 2 in the numerator and minus and 4 in the denominator we can cancel this in two table so this is minus 1 that is 2 1s are 2 and then 2 2s are 4 now we left with nothing else we cannot cancel this further so this will be equal to what so let's multiply the numbers in the numerator so we have minus 1 minus 1 into 1 is minus 1 minus 1 into minus 1 is plus 1 or 1 then 1 into 1 is 1 yeah so we'll get 1 in the numerator upon in denominator we have 1 into 1 then 1 into 1 is 1 and 1 2 is a 2 so we get 2 here. Now you can multiply the negative sign here minus into minus is plus or remember if we have a negative number sorry if the num number of negative signs are even number the answer is positive. So here we have a two negative signs it means it's a positive it's, it's a even number right two means even number. So the po answer will be positive here the numerator will be positive here. So that's it. So this is where you can solve the question. Instead of multiplying the numerators and denominators and then cancelling it, you can cancel before and then multiply. I hope this question is clear. In case you have any question or doubt, you can drop a comment below. Thank you so much for watching.